Momoshiki is not a new person to any fan of the Boruto series, but even as common as we think he is, have you ever thought of him being the famed Shibai Otsutsuki, the god of the Otsutsukis? Sounds far-fetched, right? But don't fret because we will be considering the possibilities. In today's video, we will be looking in-depth into the theory of Momoshiki actually being Shibai Otsutsuki. And if he is indeed Shibai, then our boy Boruto is housing a huge deity in him. But of course, before we begin, you know the drill, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the Boruto series, the Otsutsuki clan plays a crucial role, central to the overall plot. Originally introduced in Naruto, this powerful clan introduced Boruto to the world of mighty gods, showcasing their immense strength and abilities. Characters like Momoshiki Otsutsuki and Kinshiki Otsutsuki were early additions to the story and as the plot progressed, the Otsutsuki clan became even more essential to the narrative. Their remarkable power demonstrated by characters like Kaguya Otsutsuki and the recently introduced Shibai Otsutsuki sets them apart as some of the most formidable beings in the Naruto universe. Now, who exactly is the famed Shibai Otsutsuki? Shibai Otsutsuki is the newest member of the Otsutsuki clan and according to Amado, he is incredibly powerful. He lived around 8,000 years ago and like other Otsutsuki, was obsessed with gaining power. He traveled to different planets, draining them of their energy by harvesting chakra fruits and destroying them. He consumed life forms without restraint, making him unmatched in the entire universe. Amado learned about Shibai either from Jigen or because Shibai was an Earth. In the hierarchy of the strongest Otsutsuki, Shibai ranks number one. And he's known to have existed even way before Kaguya Otsutsuki. This makes him the oldest character. As an Otsutsuki, Shibai achieved immortality through multiple resurrection facilitated by the Karma Seal. What sets him apart is the belief that he ultimately ascended to the God Realm, leaving his mortal form behind. Having seen who exactly Shibai Otsutsuki is, let's now look more into the theory of Momoshiki being Shibai Otsutsuki. If you look closely at the way Momoshiki gave Boruto his karma even after his body was destroyed is pretty unusual which brings up the theory that Momoshiki's soul in Boruto might be Shibai Otsutsuki in disguise for numerous reasons. Looking at the horn similarities between Shibai and Boruto gives more backbone to this theory. However, there are some notable other reasons. When an Otsutsuki genetically evolves themselves using chakra fruits, they don't revert back to their base form. And this is simply because they turn into stronger versions of themselves and them turning back to their old selves doesn't actually make any sense. However, in Momoshiki's case, he was able to return to his base form when he returned to Boruto's karma. Ordinarily, he should have been in his fuse form or stronger form upon returning but the very fact that fuse Momoshiki hasn't even touched Boruto is quite mind-boggling. So, this simply means that Boruto got his karma from the soul of Momoshiki who can actually bring another entity in disguise. Also, looking at the fact that the quote-unquote soul of Momoshiki met with Boruto in another dimension other than Earth. This could be that Shibai had access to numerous different realms like these, after all he's a omnipotent Otsutsuki god. Another thing we must also note as diehard fans is that Momoshiki before making Boruto his vessel did not showcase any sort of ability to manipulate time, while the being that actually made Boruto his vessel can stop time whenever he wants. And so far, we haven't seen any other Otsutsuki members playing with time before. And if this was a power that Momoshiki actually possessed, he would have actually dealt with the good guys he was fighting against in a matter of seconds. It was only when he possessed Boruto that we saw this ability manifesting. If you ask me, I think that this ability is an omnipotent ability just like the one being used by Ada. If this was an ability that was common among the Otsutsukis like the Byakugan, we would have seen Ishiki, Urashiki, and Kaguya using it during their fights. However, this mysterious ability is just limited only to Momoshiki or rather the being living inside of Boruto. Another important key in figuring out Momoshiki's identity is the blue-eyed girl named Ada. When Momoshiki used his power to stop time, we could see that both Ada and Daemon's time was frozen. 
Now, considering the fact that they were subjects of Shibai experimentation, they should have been immune from the power of a normal Otsutsuki being. Especially because they were descents of the Otsutsuki god and considering the fact that this ability passed time on a global scale. This simply means that Momoshiki's power actually surpasses that of an Otsutsuki god, or dare I say, he's the god himself because he's the only one who can pull off such a stunt. Looking back at chapter 79, he was able to identify the reality itself had been altered. If the omnipotence Jutsu after being cast was able to alert ordinary members of the Otsutsukis, then Kawaki and Boruto should have been able to notice this as well. However, it was only Momoshiki that was able to recite the whole details of what went down. Like, how exactly did he know that Kawaki and Boruto's life has been exchanged? There's no normal Otsutsuki that could actually go into such in-depth details when it comes to knowing about godly powers. This only means that Momoshiki himself is a massive powerful being who is fooling Boruto for some severe reasons. The prophecy Momoshiki gave about the blue-eyed person when he talked to Boruto about his fate in his future is another factor that points to his godlike powers. In my own opinion, I feel like his goal isn't to resurrect since he's not the real Momoshiki after all. Rather, he actually appeared in Boruto's life to make him mentally stronger for reasons best known to him. I believe this because at some point, he lied about possessing Boruto. And back in chapter 78, when he took control of Boruto's body in order to free Kawaki because that was his master plan. This points us to the fact that Momoshiki can actually take over Boruto's body independently but for some reasons best known to him, he acts like he can't do it. Rather, we see him persuading Boruto to switch to him in chapter 80. This is to make sure he had a strong mental resolve and this is mainly because of the difficulties that Boruto will be facing in the future are much more than the current reality twists. It's believed that in chapter 75, Kishimoto made Momoshiki fake his ignorance about Ada's love charm despite knowing about her omnipotence jutsu. The purpose behind mentioning it when Kawaki was nearby was to trigger Boruto intentionally. As expected, Kawaki got provoked witnessing Boruto talking to Momoshiki, which led him to start his grand plan against Boruto which began with sealing Boruto's parents. The host of Boruto has encountered numerous challenges, especially with Momoshiki and Kinshiki's arrival during the Chunin exams. However, it seems puzzling that he possesses knowledge of the omnipotence jutsu used on mankind before. This could suggest that he is actually Shibai Otsutsuki, the one narrating events to Boruto. In the mythology of the Heaven's Fruit, Momo in Japanese, Shiba's political impersonation of a dead Otsutsuki reaching heaven becomes plausible. The meaning of the name Shibai, which implies someone pretending to be another like a stage role, strengthens the idea of a well-planned scheme. Shibai's actions such as making Boruto his vessel after Momoshiki's demise and dropping hints for fans might be a way to prepare Boruto for a crucial role in the Otsutsuki world towards the series' end. Understanding Shibai's side could help clarify things for Boruto and the fans with the possibility of many more plot points and characters being revealed later on. The theory suggests that Shibai could be a significant villain, possibly on par with Pain, and his involvement could lead to a complex and engaging storyline. Another significant possibility different from the Shibai impersonating theory revolves around Momoshiki's goal of finding a desired vessel. It's speculated that Momoshiki willingly allowed himself to be defeated by Boruto because he recognized Boruto as the reincarnation of Shibai Otsutsuki. This could explain why Momoshiki happily resided within Boruto and ensured his safety. The Jogan might play a crucial role in identifying Boruto, but the absence of his eye in the manga adds to the confusion. It's believed that Kishimoto, when the first episode of the anime was released, had already completed the entire world of Boruto, including the significant role of the Jogan. Despite Kodachi writing the script for chapter 51, it's argued that Kodachi's main contributions to the story were the Mujina Bandits arc, Kara's arc, the Momoshiki development arc, and the Ishiki arc. Most of the plot points that were introduced in Kodachi's part of the script doesn't seem to have major influence as of now. While the writing of Kishimoto turned Kawaki into a psycho rebel alongside pulling off a large Mattis plot twist and introducing some new characters. It is likely that Kishimoto specifically requested certain plot points for the Boruto series, including the Blue Eyes Prophecy, the Missing Kara Seal, Kashin Koji, and the Missing Otsutsuki Tablet. 
these elements are expected to play significant roles in the overall story. Shibai Otsutsuki appears to be a character created by Kishimoto and there are parallels between him and the Hindu mythology god Shiva who meditates on the mountain Gilash. In the manga, Momoshiki is depicted sitting on top of a mountain facing a particular direction, which could further link to the inspiration from Shiva's mythological portrayal. All these simply point to the fact that Shibai is disguising himself as Momoshiki. So what do you think about this? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to get updates from us. Thank you for watching.